term microgreen is used for a, a new category of specialty crops. In the case of microgreens, these are generally used to enhance uh, salads or side dishes or maybe even to spruce up a, a sandwich. Uh, they're very small uh, plants, very young plants, and typically fall in between the category of something that we may be more familiar with like sprouts. Sprouts are, would be the youngest of all of the categories. And then next would be microgreens. In the case of sprouts, we harvest the entire plant, the root system, stems and leaves, all of that gets packaged in the case of sprouts. Whereas in the case of microgreens, we'd leave the root system behind and harvest only the stem and the leaves. The, the, uh, the category of microgreens is, has, is a relatively new category. It is a consumer-driven category of specialty crops for sure. And uh, it, it really just has come on the scene in the last few years, maybe the last three or four years. We see a lot more interest in, uh, in consumers trying to find microgreens and farmers perhaps trying to diversify their operations and grow some kind of a unique new specialty crops. So microgreens are a pretty new category. I think the majority of the microgreens that have been uh, added to the marketplace in the last couple of years probably is mostly the chefs and the restaurant uh, business. Um, you also have a number of specialty stores that um, might uh, offer gourmet products, organic products, or health, uh, health food products. Those are also a source of uh, finding microgreens and we're beginning to see them more and more in community farmers markets. The, the targeted consumer here, a health conscious consumer, a consumer that's looking to add a little bit of a unique dining experience or to enhance a, a salad mix or even enhance a sandwich a little beyond what they normally uh, would be used to. Uh, in many cases, if they have the uh, the financial wherewithal to purchase microgreens, that might be a choice. But there's a lot of a lot of uh, consumers that choose to to grow these on their own, which certainly could be done in their own home. Microgreens are typically probably considered to be a, a gourmet kind of a kind of a, a specialty crop, and uh, there's a couple of things that probably put it in that category. Number one, they're they're pretty expensive to produce on a commercial basis, and therefore make it. Uh, a high-end uh, product in its initial stages. Most of what we saw was uh, where microgreens were being utilized were in uh, high-end restaurants. I think most microgreens are going to be grown in some type of protected culture like a greenhouse or a shade structure perhaps, but they are very tender and they're going to have to be protected from rainfall. And this, most of the systems that are used, if you have a heavy rainfall, it's going to disrupt the seeding uh, process. So uh, typically they're used in some kind of a protected culture. Uh, depending on the crop that would be grown, some would require higher temperatures that we could uh, accomplish in a greenhouse. In, in other cases, you may be able to do it in a protected outdoor structure. But I would say that that would be mostly crop dependent. But uh, long story short, typically protected culture like greenhouse.